Hi, my friend. Nice to see you. Welcome to the week one of the Margaret Miller Collage Challenge 2024. I've started my YouTube video journey just with this video and I hope you enjoy with me my first creation. It's a little bit wonky. It's I drop out of frame at times and so, but I give it my best shot and I promise step by step, video by video, I will learn, I will, um, yeah, yeah, create and do my very best to show you my process. Margaret Miller um, gives us for 52 weeks five prompts plus a bonus. And um, yeah, we start with this week. You can use images, you can use stems, you can use whatever you find to create a collage and use your imagination, use your inner wisdom to know what wants to go on the page and in which form and in which um, arrangement. Just have fun. This week, the first prompts are something associated with water, a portion of a poem or a song you enjoy, pattern paper, something that's usually kept cold, a light shade of blue and as a bonus, an unusual symbol or shape. I'm using system cards for this challenge because system cards have the same size like a postcard. And last year I started sending a postcard per week to my mom who started collecting um, over 60 years ago as a young woman postcards and I enjoy yeah, giving her this. With the first prompt, something water, I found this beautiful picture from Katsushika Hokusai, I hope I said, uh, said it correctly, the great wave from 1831. I love that picture. And I thought it would be nice as a background. And with water, I also came to the next one, which is a bottle in the water. And so I made a photo of um, the different beer bottles and the one on the right is the one I liked most because it reminds me of the beer bottles um, we um, yeah, favored when I was a child, <laughs> not a child, <laughs> a young person. The next one is the song message in a bottle and I printed it out in three different sizes because I would like to play around with it see which ones work. This one is a patterned paper you can see the squares there and I thought that would work nicely as um, for that prompt. I will start with fussy cutting um, the beer bottle and there you can see I'm dropping out of the frame I'm sorry for that I will not bother you for too long with that because I noticed in the footage here you can see I'm going away more and more and more and dropping out and dropping out and so I cut the video here here I'm cutting the background to size so that I can use it as um, the back, yeah, the background for my card. And um, step by step, I learn how to do this. Um, yeah, it takes the time it takes. So we, if we don't start at one point, how can we learn and how can we improve? on what we are doing. Yeah, I like that one and I can see this is a little bit, the picture is a little bit too short on both sides, but then I think I might a little bit further down um, add some washi tape to the side, but for now I think I enjoy the, the look of it and yep, yeah, I will add to it when it comes to it. So, when I 
decided of the background, I thought I will fussy cut the background around the wave out. So I will do this now and as before you can see I am dropping out of the frame. So again I will just show you a little bit of my work. Here you can see it's a little bit further down and here is a tiny tiny little splashes that I'm cutting out and um, somebody told me that when you cut these things out it's always better to move the object you are cutting out and hold the scissors still. So I'm still in the process of learning this like I'm in the process of learning making these videos but I like that for a start. So here I'm getting the map. It's a map of New Zealand. I moved 20 years ago to New Zealand and that's the card of it. And here comes my bottle. Trying it on for size. Do I like it more to the left? Do I like it more to the right? So, And then I thought oh, it would be nice if it's not behind but actually between the waves. And so I got my map and a scalpel cutter to make a tiny little slit in the waves or amongst the waves so I can slide the beer bottle between the waves. So you can see it on the very bottom of the video where I carefully, carefully make a slit into the wave and then put it in there so you can see it is looking a little bit behind. Ah, here I drop again out of my frame <laughs> so I hope you can bear this with me and find it a little bit funny that I completely misjudged the frame. So in my future frames I mark the field so I know. Then the additional symbol, first I thought that one but because I had no idea but then I thought no in the cards they're in the top corner. There's the number one for my first card and the little shape is the shape of New Zealand. I thought that's fitting for my first card and I round the corner to put it in there. Yep, I think I like that. That sounds like a nice thing. And there on the bottom you can see I um, have this little piece of message in a bottle. At the end of the card you might become aware I made a big mistake in this um, video and if you can spot the mistake please leave me a note um, below, leave me a comment. Here I um, put some ink oxide around my little snippet. It always looks nicer because it helps for the little snippets to stand out. It um, makes it pop out a little bit more and I really like that. I think now that I have all the bits and pieces together it's time to um, glue everything down. Yeah, I start with my map background, pattern paper, something light blue and yep, trying to get it all nicely on the card and to press it down is the next one the little corner piece the number one for my first card and the shape of New Zealand yeah here we go mm, the little one yep good to press it down and then to put in the little bottle first to secure the bottle 
and then now first to secure the left side of the wave but to leave a little bit of space so that I then can slide the bottle in and glue everything down in the right place. So here I take a little bit of liquid glue at the tiny little splash ends of the wave so to secure everything and to get everything down. Yeah, it's always a, an interesting bit to secure it on my card. Yeah, I do this step by step, gluing it all into place. Um, I hope you enjoy seeing the process. It's always, um, yeah, it takes the time it takes. We are not in a rush. It's your time, your crafty time. It's my time to relax, to get away from our normal day-to-day -day hustle and bustle of life, to enter a different space, to enter a space of calmness and creativity to allow things to unfold step by step in its own time. And here you can see me trying to find a way to first secure the bottle and then to glue the rest. Here, a little bit glue on the corners on the sides, on the bottle, and then to press it down. It's an interesting process first to do the video and then to do the voiceover. None of it I have ever done before, so it's an enormous challenge for me. And I learn step by step what needs to be done and yes, enjoy the process doing this for you and um, yeah, us coming together, doing this together. Yes, and here is now the little snippet that again is out of frame. But yeah, to go over the glue, I like to move the piece over and then to put the prompts on the back because as you remember I will send it to my mom who by the way only speaks German and has a little tiny little bit of English so she tries to decipher the prompts and then we talk on the phone and I walk her through and um, explain to her like that uh, something associated with water in German is um, ein bisschen was uns an Wasser erinnert. So I explain to her, um, or I translate to her and then I explain to her what she can see in the card. I can put the address on the right hand side and I can put the stamp on the top. And here it is, the final card. Can you see the little mistake? Now let's recapture the prompts for this week. Something associated with water, that's my wave and even the background ocean of the South Pacific. And a portion of a poem or a song I enjoy is a um, message in a bottle from the police. Then pattern paper. It's the pattern of the squares of the map in the background. Then something that's usually kept cold, that is my association, was the beer bottle or the beer. Then a light shade of blue, again the background of the map of the ocean. And the bonus is in there as well. It's the symbol or the unusual shape. And the unusual shape is the shape of New Zealand. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like to see more, 
please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and hopefully hopefully I will see you for the next episode of my Margaret Miller challenge or one of my future videos. So bye for now and I wish you a wonderful day. Okay, my friend. Bye.